Well, hey! Hi, everyone. We're star doing. We're living, we're laughing, we're farming. I'm pretty sure I'm getting a pimple on the tip of my nose. Probably from having to wear a mask all the time, even though I wash them every time I use them. It's really annoying. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We know what Gus likes. We'll, we'll be able to get him some good presents for his birthday if we know how to cook any of them now. <laughs> hey, Willantis! <laughs> Love that rocky emote with the, the wings next to him. <laughs> it makes him look very elegant. Fisherman wanted, I need a good pufferfish specimen. I'm conducting an experiment on the toxin created by the pufferfish. I don't remember. Those are at night, aren't they? Peacher. Oh my god, Erica. Oh my god. Didn't clean out any of my shit. Uh, the newspaper we can put in there. Anything else ready for us? Maybe? Do we have our scythe with us? No. Oh, you lost your bada bing, bada boom emotes. <laughs> Some emotes. I'm so sorry. Uh, those brought much joy to my life. <laughs> Huge fan. I'm just gonna. Boop. Anything else we can put in there? Can we put yams in there? No. Uh, the grape we are saving for Vincent. Nothing else. Okay. What's going on up here? We got a peach? No, don't eat the winter root. Just calm down. Peach. It, what is that? Oh, that's caviar. Neat. Aged flounder row. Inventory full. God damn it. All right. Hi, Jacob. The summoning is complete. <laughs> What is up, my dude? All right, let's empty these pockets out because we're just we're just being reckless now. I can't believe I just ended this. I was like, oh, fucking, it'll be fine. <laughs> just, I probably, we, we probably, if I remember correctly, we just stayed in the mines way too long, and I had to just run to bed. <laughs> All right, we put this and this and this and also that and this. Hmm. Hi, Amanda! <laughs> Ew, fucking aged row. Um, I think we're fine with keeping everything else in here. You're telling me you're just carrying around aged row? I'm gonna keep one of those with me because I wanna give Sebastian a gift because I love him. What else? put all of this back because I'm just kind of expecting that we won't be doing anything that needs any extra energy today. Alright, this is for Emily. And this is for Sebastian. So we got Vincent, Haley, Harvey, Emily, Sebastian. We gotta go to Clint. And then I'm gonna use this to, I think that wheat down there is ready and then I'll plant this in there. Oh yeah, we need this too. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely barbaric. Aged flounder row? Flounder, flounder row is for peasants, okay? Get it together. This is a royal household. Okay, these aren't ready to be picked. Take this with me. Uh, sell this stuff. I'll sell it just to... I like filling out that little... Where is it? Where is it? This? Just this whole jam? This makes me feel complete more than anything else in the game. So I want to sell one of everything that we get, and I'm going to try and pay more attention to that over time. But... <sighs> Go say hi to our beloveds. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. What did you leave for us? 
Okay, okay, I'll take it. Okay, I thought it was only two. I was like, hmm. I see we spent all of our money last time. Forgot about that. I think they're night fish, right? The puffer fish? They're in the ocean at night? Hi oh, Ricardo. I'm pretty sure this was uh, at the end of our last stream. I forgot to name it. Um, oh, oh, that's right. So at the end of the last stream, after uh, it went to switch to the next day, it said that Gumbus had a baby in the night. <laughs> so uh, please welcome Ricardo to the family. Um, as you may have guessed, I did not make that name uh, myself. Oh, fuck, we gotta fix the fence. Uh, but it was yet another gift from the Stardew Valley random name generator gods. Okay, so that's three pieces of fence we gotta fix. Four? What the hell? Let's just make that a stone fence. I'm not dealing with that. Two, three, four, five, six. I think that's everybody, right? I think we only have six of those bad boys. Duck feather for our dearest Elliot. Oh, thank God. I feel like we haven't been giving him enough gifts lately. I don't want him to lose interest. Please, Elliot. I love you. Okay. Time is it? 1020? Oh, yeah. What do you need? Oh, we have that. We have that. Ah, frozen geo. This really makes us feel at home. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> I didn't know that was something that flounder were interested in, but um, flounder, flounders, floundi. What would be the pr <laughs> the plural of flounder? Hello, my friend. Oh, I didn't put the fucking eggs in the mayonnaise machine. That's fine. I'm just gonna sell them. I don't want to go back down there. <laughs> I'm too lazy. Can't wait till we get that horse so I can stop being so slow. Robin, hurry up. All right. Where are we relationship-wise with Elliot? Oh, okay, cool. So, you know what? Here's the thing. I don't think... Let me look at this thingy. Is the, is the duck feather one of the things that'll come up on here? I feel like it would be. I'm trying to see if any of the shapes look like it. It does. That's totally it right there. I'm gonna sell this one because we're already at full hearts with Elliot. We gotta start asking people to be our, our partners, our SOs. Gotta advance this plot. The Stardew Valley plot. I noticed that this was one of the things we hadn't sold before. Okay. It's 11.30. Let's... We said hi to all the animals and fed them, right? Yes. Okay. I actually really appreciate the auto squeezer thing. <laughs> it's easier for me because I don't have to keep track of anything. I just go and pick up from it and that's it. <laughs> Oh, the fence. We gotta fix the fence later. I'll do that. I will. We'll see. Anybody? Who do we want to talk to in here? Anybody? No. Right? Nah. Here's the thing. I'm gonna buy a, I'm just gonna ask a bunch of people to, to be our, our significant others. I'm just gonna get... There we go. <laughs> Not yet, though. I have to mentally prepare for it, because I'm scared. <laughs> do, 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 do. We're just gonna start some serious drama in Pelican Town. So, Vincent, Haley, Harvey, Emily, Sebastian. That's not what I wanted, excuse me. Thank you. Oh my god, I didn't talk to Abigail, you're right. 
I just walked right by her. It's because I thought about asking her to be my girlfriend and then I chickened out and I was like, I can't talk to her now. <laughs> That's not even a joke. That's literally what happened in my head. I was like, no, no, no. I can't ask her right now. I got to men mentally repair to ask any of these people to be my partner. Um, and then I ran out. <laughs> Anybody up here? Oh yeah, let's take care of this stuff. Nope, not, not what I meant to do. We don't have our scythe, so I'm just gonna do this the hard way. What else? Oh my god. This whole row. What is that? Is that a rock? Yes it is. We should upgrade more of our items. Or more of our tools, huh? This is something. This is... This is something. I wonder what. I bet it's one of those things where you put... You have to figure out what kind of... What item to put in there and it gives you something weird. Like in the back room of the saloon. It's Saturday. I'm trying to think of where everybody is on Saturdays. Oh, there's Haley. Hey, guess what? Yay. Let's get ice cream. Who's that? Harvey! There you go. And <laughs> no one is going to be single in Pelican Town. Exactly. I will make sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> if only polyamory wasn't frowned upon in Stardew Valley. You're so fucking right. You're so right, Willantis. They need to up their game. This this uh this town needs to put some serious thought into the type of morals they're putting out there because we shouldn't have a big dramatic scene of everybody yelling at each other or at me. I guess if you're not being honest, that's not really polyamory. <laughs> that's just cheating on people. <laughs> very, very different. <laughs> I'm supposed to call my grandma. Okay, I'm gonna put this over event. Cute. Sebastian, sir. Ew, mushroom casserole sounds terrible. We should have an option to be able to just speak openly with everyone. Like, hey, are you down for me to just... Can we just do this thing? Like, with everybody? I kind of love all of you. Yeah, you can date everyone at the same time, but isn't there like a... Once you reach 10 hearts with everybody, if you go into the saloon, there's like a big scene where everybody's like, so we figured out that um, you've been fucking lying. And then they get mad at you. And then they won't talk to you for like two days or something. Wasn't that a thing? Leah, do you like ice cream? What? You really don't like ice cream? Maybe Leah's vegan. She does only, her favorite is salad. Oh, you didn't know that before you got married in the game, Volantis? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Gotta start a new farm and date everybody. I had the console version where uh, nobody, where it wasn't updated yet to where you would get in that, that scene where everybody gets mad at you. Um, so I just dated recklessly and dishonestly um, without repercussions. <laughs> Do we have anything nice to give him? We don't. I'm too scared to ask him to be our boyfriend yet. Bye. I don't know where Vincent is. Where does he hang out? Leah's way too into health food. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Stella. You're right. I should have thought of that. I just thought everybody was one of those things everybody would like. She does like mayo. Okay, I'm going to remember that. Oh, there's Vincent. Child, I have grapes for you great okay so we did our nice stuff for the day um i guess let's fish a little bit let's go fish at the beach oh shit it's savannah what's up <laughs> i didn't know that was you oh stella like your dog oh my god oh that's so cute oh, holy shit i'm so glad you're here how cool 
I'm so glad you're into you're into Stardew. I'm so glad we can bond over this as a community. <laughs> named your, named your, your handle after a dog you love as much as Sarah loves Rocky. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of love. I feel bad because I've been getting impatient with him. Um, I'm not like yelling at him or anything, but like he uh. He just won't stop with the licking the inside of that cone. And not only do I for some reason feel like he shouldn't do that, I don't know what it is. I'm trying to find a good logical reason. I just feel like it's like, I don't know. I guess he's not hurting anybody, but he shouldn't be licking plastic, I feel like. I'm not sure, <laughs> but, uh, oh, nice. The other thing is, um, it's just a very gross sound. It's just very loud and like visceral. <laughs> Of him just incessantly licking the inside of this this little cone he has to wear on his neck, and uh, and he's been waking me up in the mornings. Um, the past few weeks, it's been crying at the side of the bed because he's upset that he can't be in the bed with us. Um, because <laughs> while his leg is still healing, uh, and now he has ceased to cry. But what he does is he wakes up and then he just licks the inside of the cone and i've washed it you know i just use i mean i don't use any because he licks it so much i can't use like cleaner or anything obviously or like even like soap i'm afraid to use um because i don't know what this cone is made out of i don't know like what absorb what it absorbs or anything so i've just honestly just been you know rinsing it with uh water and then using paper towels to just wipe it down and stuff but yeah um this morning he it's just the past few mornings he's just been waking me up by licking because he sleeps on the floor on my side of the bed. Well, in his in his little bed. He's not on the floor. Because he's basically like royalty in this house. It is gross! It, you know what? Thank you, Sarah, for the validation. It is. It, I, I feel like in my own home, I should be able to be like, please don't do that. I don't... <laughs> It's also distracting when I'm working, and then, like, I don't know, it wakes me up in the mornings. It's just gross. It's just, buddy, don't do that. Don't, that's not... And it also, like I said, I don't know, something about it just feels like it can't be good for him. Like, <laughs> like I wouldn't just let him lick the floor, you know what I mean? Ooh. Neat. Um, still not a, fla a, a puffer fish, though. No! Who called him ugly? Oh my god. Who in God's name? Literally, get better taste. My condolences for your awful, awful taste. Who would be like, ew, look at that ugly emote of that ugly dog. Rocky's like the cutest dog I've ever seen. Oopsies. I hit the button twice. I literally can't even imagine thinking Rocky is ugly. What kind of world? Doofy, maybe. <laughs> but that's part of the charm. <laughs> He's a little dingus. I would imagine if Demetrius asked us to do this, it, you could catch a puffer fish in the summer, right? Are they available in the summer? He is one goofy ass dog. I love that. I love this little man. Rocky, we're talking about you. I'm sorry someone called you ugly, but, you know, not everyone can like you, and that's just a fact of life, and that's fine. He do be looking like an alien sometimes, you're right. He looks like a lot of different things. Um, I can't remember if I told you guys, but my mom said he looked like a caterpillar the other day, and I was like, you're absolutely correct. Um, what else do we got? Ferret, giraffe, alligator... Uh oh jeez. Um bat, definitely, um with the ears. Uh oh jeez. Uh fox. Mm. I don't know if you would consider uh crocodile and alligator two different things, but definitely damn we lost it. Um it's the huge eyes. He does kind of look like a bug. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. What else? Rocky, what other animals have you been told you look like? There's a lot. He kind of looks like a lion sometimes when all, <laughs> when all of his like neck gush um, gets pushed up around his face. He looks like he has a mane. <laughs> I will stand by this. It's not fat because he's not fat. He just has a lot of extra skin, which I have been told. <laughs> 
I know how ridiculous this sounds, okay? I have two things about chihuahuas that I have to tell you guys. Number one, I have been told uh, and read in a couple of books that um, it's normal for chihuahuas to have a lot of extra skin because it's a defense mechanism. Um, because <laughs> it helps if like they get bit or grabbed at it, it instead of it going straight to their their organs or their you know their muscle it's just this extra skin um what else uh oh the other one oh my god there was this this absolutely wild lady who uh seemed super normal um in a place i used to uh, an apartment complex i used to live in but she saw that i had rocky one day and i think she must have had chihuahuas because he's a chihuahua mix for anybody who doesn't know he's a chihuahua and dachshund mix a little chihuini um and she was like oh let's talk about chihuahuas and i was like cool new friend and then she went on this whole tangent about all of these unknown facts about chihuahuas and how like they actually and i have read this in a lot of different places that chihuahuas are one of the only breeds of dog that are actually mostly na <laughs> naturally occurring like they weren't really bred um i thought she said have ever have a bunch of crap lying around and i was like you can't say that on television um anyway so there's like just apparently like wild packs of chihuahuas um so that makes me happy when i'm not feeling good sometimes <laughs> um what else? Oh, uh, so then she told me, she proceeded to tell me that because of that, um, they have really long nails, um, and to not ever be freaked out if I see him, um, if I ever see Rocky just climb a tree. And I was like, I'm sorry, did you say climb a tree as in, like, climb a tree? Like, actually, like, just fucking, and she was like, yeah! And I was like, okay, I <laughs> that one is a little bit tough for me. <laughs> The, the, um, the, the, the wild pack thing. Okay, I can see that. The, um, what else do we have in our pockets? Uh, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, you know, I can, I can see it. Oh, wait, we have more seeds, don't we? Like, the skin thing, that makes sense. But, like, the claw, climbing trees, I really am not... <laughs> If I ever saw Rocky climbing a tree, I absolutely 100% would lose my mind. <laughs> There's no question that I wouldn't like <laughs> absolutely freak out if I saw that. You guys gotta go inside because you can't run out. Oh, for the love of God, it's gonna be like this today, isn't it? Do not leave. Do not leave. We gotta change this, hold on. Cause this is gonna be dangerous. <laughs> okay. Oh no, that wasn't what I meant to do. Excuse me. Oh no, it oh uh, brain. Okay. Don't even try it. Don't even think about it. Your mother, your mom and your brother said that you looked like a bug when they got you? <laughs> no! That's just what babies' faces look like. Our eyes are too big for our heads. Isn't that the other, another thing they, that they say? Um, oopsies. That, uh, this, I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of where this tree is placed. It's fine, whatever. Um, that's not what we're doing right now. Uh, I'll just go around. Yeah, why is it? Yeah, we'll just do it like this. Take that out of there. Do it like that. Yeah. So here we go. He does have, like, neck gush. It's just like, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like extra skin. Sometimes I think about if I were to ever see Rocky just climbing a tree, like if we were to go outside and he would chase a squirrel and then just not stop at the bottom of the tree, but just keep going. And I honest to God don't know if I can think of something funnier. <laughs> if I saw that IRL. 
He's just so small and like he's already kind of funny looking. Imagine just like, <laughs> like running at full speed and then just going vertical. God, funniest thing I could ever imagine. Okay, what? No, thank you. Okay, uh, I think it worked out. Okay, hello, my friends. Hello. Oh, they're all so cute. Hi, I love you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That works. Me. <laughs> That's how he survived that one time he ran away. Can you imagine that just one time in Rocky's life he climbed a tree like that and just went straight up and was like, I don't know what the fuck that was, but I'm staying here. And then that was it. And then as soon as the sun rose, he was like, I got to get the fuck out of here and just ran back home. Oh, my God. That had to be it. God, I would give anything to be able to talk to Rocky. That would be the one thing if they were, if somebody was like if a genie was like you can talk to your dog but you can only ask him one question that's probably what i would ask him i'm pretty sure he knows i love him that would be the only other thing i'd really be worried about is like do you know that you're a valued member of this family and that i would die and kill for you but i'm pretty sure he knows that i'm pretty sure that's like the unspoken loyalty of a pack i'd rather just be like bro you have to tell me about that night that one night that you ran away because my horrible roommates let you out and I almost committed crimes. <laughs> Crime of passion. I have a dog, not a squirrel. <laughs> I don't know, he could be both. Oh, duh, obviously, that's the other one everybody always compares him to, a squirrel. Hi, Snooch. Oh, just your brother said that about when you were a baby. Sorry, I was reading chat too quickly. I was just hoping maybe I could walk through it. <laughs> that, you know what, Sarah? That is impeccable logic. Babies are kind of whack looking, and that's why Rocky's kind of whack looking, because he's a baby. He's just a little man. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, oh yeah, this guy too. All right, I think we should just do it. I think we should just start asking people to be to be dating us, and then we can be marry me. Uh, <laughs> uh I kind of want to change my little hat. Oh, and you know what? I'm committing it to memory. We do not have the tiara yet. I want to put the little bow on because I think it's cute. Oh, this boat's this bow's cute too. I'll leave it. I'll I'll switch it up for now, just just for fun, just for just for variance' sake. Let's rearrange this because it's hurting my brain. All right. Um, oh, hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. What are we, uh, what are we, what are we naming our horse? Snully, turdy. Tony. I kind of want to name her Tony. Catch Wumley. Where do these I have to know? Snatello! That sounds mean. Froners, Fopers, Kodo, Prutza, Gep, you know. The usual. I don't. I, is it weird? I kind of want to give her a nice name. I kind of want to name her. I kind of want to name her Pajmina. Chat. What do we think about Pajmina? Like one of my favorite Animal Crossing villagers. Mm 
Roach, just name her Roach. <laughs> I wouldn't be setting her off to a good life. <laughs> that again, I'm thinking about all of our poor barn animals and coop animals that we named. <laughs> Fucking Grumbus. <laughs> hmm. Scores. <laughs> okay, I'm going with Pashmina. Busted. <laughs> Pashmina. Yes, girl. Oh my god. Bless. All right, what's going on up here? Did our uh, apricot tree just stop growing? Is that a thing that can happen? Like, or well, it was already fully grown. Shouldn't we be getting the fruit every day? Because we were. Nothing's ready here. All right, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna bite the bullet. Um. I think it would be in good spirit to ask either Leah or Elliot first. Let's see if Leah's home. Oh, there's Abigail. <laughs> 